Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed. I'm your host VGM Corin, and we're sitting outside the gates of Akka where our second assassination target is inside somewhere. Don't worry, we'll find him by climbing on buildings and all kinds of things. But first, there's the matter of getting inside the city. Now, as the game is clearly showing here, it wants you to save that citizen in order to get through. And even though that wall might look climbable and that might be how you get into the city, it's nothing near that cool. You do have to save this citizen. So let's go ahead and get on with the stabbing. And let's stab that guy too. Oh, nope. You can only stab a couple of people per fight. Or er, what do I mean by that when I say that? Um, it usually is very hard to actually kill someone. Or kill more than one person with the hand blade before you get into a combat scenario. However, I do love this short blade because it has some of the most brutal animations for killing in the game. And, you know, that's just kind of awesome. I, I am always a fan of very violent animations. I am a terrible person like that. Uh, when enemies taunt you, as you can see, you can actually hit them for damage instead of getting parried. Now, ooh. God. This is another thing. I, I'm going to talk about the other Assassin's Creed. Uh, this original Assassin's Creed, every death you had had one of those crazy animations where you just kind of stab people and they're terror it's terrifyingly brutal. Later Assassin's Creed's, because of how many more guards they throw out at you, the animations kind of lose some of their kick because they aren't so constant. Now, for some people that might be a good thing because it means you can get on with the fighting faster, but I don't know. I'm always a fan of very violent animations and very making killing seem like a big deal. My sons were half as brave as you. I'll see to it that they hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. True heroes murder everyone. So says the guy with the cross on his chest. <laughs> Wait, no. This is probably not the right thing to be saying on my channel. Okay, so just like the other time, we have to blend with the monks to get into the city. Now, see... I do really wish that they had gone a different route with this and let you climb into the cities, but I, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's okay that they don't. Either way, we, are, we have our ticket inside, and once again, despite the fact that we're armed to the teeth and not wearing monk robes at all, we're going to get in no problem. Now, I actually think you can just go murder the guards in front of the city, to get inside, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'll do that next time. Maybe I'll do that for the next city. But this is by far the easier way to do this because they kind of ignore the fact that, you know, you murder a bunch of people and then pretend to be a monk. As soon as you're past the guards, you can leave them. And as always, there is a vision point right near the start of the city. Now, I said in the last episode that this is one of my favorite cities, and that's true just because. The styling, the bluish tint of this area just really, I, I don't know, I really like it. And yeah, especially this is a seaside city, so you might see a lot of interesting things here. It, it feels very d different from Damascus either way, and that's kind of what I find important about the cities, is that they all feel different from each other. Either way, the viewpoints still don't remain very difficult to get up. And, oh hey, we actually have our first archer on the roof. As you can see, he's pointing a bow and arrow at us, which probably is bad for us if we don't want to get murdered. Oh, he shot an arrow at us, actually. But it's okay, because we were awesome and jumped instead. Oh, apparently we went into open combat. Well, I'll just hide in here, then. Um, are, are we good? Yeah? Okay, and as you can see, we got our DNA synchronization augmentation. That's a mouthful. And that means we get one extra bar of health, which translates usually into one extra hit. Now, it's very strange to me that you can actually do eavesdropping and stuff before you find the Assassin's Bureau. Like, wouldn't that be the first thing you should do? And that, that's going to be the first thing I do, because, I don't know, it makes more sense to me. Now, as you can see, they are very suspicious of me, and that ringing will never ever stop. So, Akka is a little bit harder to traverse just on the roof, rooftops, because there are guards, and they will attempt to make sure that they, you know, 
stop you from doing exactly what I'm doing right now. Oh man, sorry if my voice is a little off today. I have been kind of soaps. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I've blended. I've been kind of sick for the past few days, and that's just kind of catching up to me now. And I, I can actually hear my voice kind of just being like, Bleh. it's a great thing to talk about while I'm recording, I know. Anyways, this is another viewpoint and the Assassin's Bureau right nearby, so we'll climb the tower and go ahead and do all those fun things. Now, one thing I haven't talked about that I keep meaning to talk about is how Al Mualim, you know, stabbed us and then revived us from the dead and was like, you only saw what I wanted you to see and was very mysterious like that. That is interesting and I, I want to talk about that because it will come back and that's just kind of what I want to say about that is it's very strange but I guess for a man that can actually you know take away my ability to counterattack and tackle people and have good foot balance and be able to live you know it's fairly within reason that he would be able to do that too I guess I, I don't know maybe Oh my god, Beggar Girl, you got me killed in the last episode. No, no, you go away forever. As you can see, you actually can punch and murder civilians in this Assassin's Creed, something that is taken away from you in the later games, which is terribly unfortunate because I much prefer getting a health penalty for doing something like punching a civilian and then getting, you know, penalized for it, but maybe using it strategically. Strategically punching people in the face. Random civilians. That's what assassins do. Let's go see what this guy has to say to us. Ah, Altair. A little bird told me you'd be paying a visit. Al Mualim has ordered the execution of Gagné de Naplus, and so here I am. What can you tell me about him? He is the Grand Master of the Knights Hospitality, and surely keeps his quarters in their district. Beyond that, I cannot say. I suggest you search the city. See what you can learn from the people. Tell me where they gather and I'll see what I can find. The public gardens north of here, or what's left of them, are as good a place as any to begin. There's an abandoned market northwest as well that merits watching. And Maria of Jehoshaphat's church to the west remains a popular meeting place. These three locations should be sufficient for your needs. I appreciate the information, Rafiq. It will be put to good use. See that it is. And with that much shorter conversation, we are already ready to go and hunt information out on the city and then murder a dude. So with the dude murdering in mind, we are actually going to follow his directions to go north. I'm bad at jumping, apparently. Actually, this is something I want to talk about. In later Assassin's Creed games, going into high profile mode immediately puts you into sprint and jump around mode. However, in this Assassin's Creed, that is not the case. What happens instead is... Hi, dude. What happens instead is that you just kind of walk run, which is different. And you have to hold down the A button to actually do any of the parkour moves, which means that that is part of why I've been, you know, jumping off buildings at inopportune moments. Now, we're already at this viewpoint, and I stabbed a guy for no good reason, aside from the fact that I didn't want to get shot with arrows later, which I guess is a good reason. And we are going to, of course, synchronize a viewpoint. Now, come on. This city is gorgeous. Hey, like, look at the sea, I guess? Maybe that's... Maybe the city isn't as pretty as I remember it, but I like this tower. I like the buildings and the half-broken nature of this place. It's very cool, in my opinion. With another viewpoint synchronized... What is that? What is that? I have never seen a challenge like that. Information Archer... Informer Archer Stealth Assassination Challenge. Well, with a name like that, we've got to do that. Um, actually, I think this is something that was added to the PC version. They added a few different challenge types to help with the repetitive nature of the game. I actually completely forgot about that. But I believe that is what happened. So we're going to do this... Archer information challenge extraordinaire thing, whatever. Where is it? There it is. All right. So tell me, what in the world is this? I need to know. Um, okay. Um, I've got the option to assassinate. I'm pretty sure that's that's not. Oh, uh, okay. Um, hey. Ah. Uh, 
Oh, okay, so apparently this doesn't work. O okay, um, you know what? I will look that up later. For now, I guess we will head to that pickpocket point. Uh, I, I have no idea. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, lock on. Would you come, brother? I could use that blade of yours. Too many arches about. This makes it difficult for me to work. Kill them. All of them. And I might be able to assist you in your campaign against the mad doctor. Keep in mind, however, that you must do this without being seen. Should you be discovered, they'll sound the alarm and you'll be forced to try again. Okay, so I completely forgot that... <laughs> oh, wow, I feel dumb. I completely forgot that what you have to do to start missions is to lock on to people. I blame this on being sick, and you can't stop me from blaming it on being sick. So, as you can see, we do not want to be discovered, which, oh, that was really close, actually. We almost, almost got discovered. He was in the middle of being like, I am discovering you before we put our blade in his back. Which, you know, it's it's the kind thing to do. Alright, so that guy actually sees me. Okay. Vanish if you're exposed and return to the informer. Okay, hang on. Hang on, we'll vanish. Just give me a second. We're going to vanish by killing him. That That is how we're going to do this. Alright, goodbye. Are, are you dead? Did, did you live through that fall? Oh. Well, um... See... Oh my god, I'm bad. I am so bad at everything. This is what happens if you fail OW a challenge. Is, well, you have to restart it, and usually something stupid happens. Like, like the- oh my god, where did all you people come from? What have I done? Apparently everything wrong is the answer to that. Anyways, we have our sword, and we're gonna kill people, and we've reinitialized, and we're like five feet away from that archer, so... Let's try that again. Um... <laughs> I love how everyone's screaming, I'm just like, doo -doo 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 -doo. I gotta go revive those people. Okay. So we're gonna go do a different mission, because I'm apparently really bad at that. I am sorry! <laughs> oh, wow. Um, <laughs> that is one thing that may happen, and you may find different investigations are more to your taste than others. Now, as you can see, there's a giant wall between us and our next assignment, so, oh god. Why are all these people on these rooftops? I don't want them to be up here. I was supposed to be the only person with access to roofs. That was what I signed up for when I was, was an assassin. How do I get into this pl What in the world is... How? How do I get in here? Why is everything going wrong? <laughs> okay. Uh, I hear a civilian getting, you know, beaten up because I'm going to teach you not to steal. And I don't really want to save her because, I mean, no, I don't want to save her. Now, I think our informant is in here, so... So, yeah. We're actually going to... This is something that'll happen, especially in the first game. Enemies are very aware. If you try and stab them from the front, it will never, ever work. However, stabbing the... Was that a crotch stab? Good god, I guess Altair is mad that I am being such a terrible, terrible failure. Alright, so as you can see, we're reinitializing here, and once enemies run, you can just kind of run away with them. Anyways, now we're gonna pickpocket. So what you got there? Rubbish. The man had no coin to speak of, just some damn tube. All I found was a bit of paper with these nonsense scratchings. Them's not nonsense, but words and letters. Why is a man putting words and letters in a tube? A waste of tube, if you ask me. Must be important. Give it here, and I'll have a look. Like you helped last time. I ain't letting you steal this. Well, ain't you clever. Have fun with it, then. And it's time to pickpocket, which I guess, in a way, is more... You know, oop, hi. I'm leaving. I'm totally not stealing from you. Okay, I'm gonna go back to stealing from you now. I know, I know, you don't, you're like, mm, that person looks suspicious, he's gonna take my pocket. And I did. Alright, so even though I'm the only person around who he knew he was trying to get stuff from him, well, you know, <laughs> it's 
Ah, oh, this game is great. Okay, so as you can see, we're already... We're going to save this civilian, because why not stab? And and now everything else becomes stabbing as well. Now, I will use my short blade and long sword just kind of interchangeably. Let's go ahead and... Well, not switch. Hey. Hey. I, I'm trying to say you must be anonymous. Who sees me? Why am I not anonymous? Fine, I'll be right back. This is something that can potentially happen, is the game, instead of pulling you back into undiscovered mode, will put you into yellow pulsing white of glowing thing mode. Now, I believe we are reinitializing, and unfortunately... Oh, wait, no, there are no guards around, so... Hi, I see. Thank you. Though, don't think I couldn't have handled them myself. Oh. Still, you've done right by me. I'll see to it that the favor is returned. Well, she's a snappy, strapping young lass, and we get a bunch of meaty men to help us with our future conquests. And apparently I'm talking like that now. It's a thing that happens. Oh man, being sick while recording is fun. It's kind of one of those... Well, it's not fun at all. Hi! <laughs> I really... I really wish I could have done that when I was attempting... Oh god! Okay, so something that can happen is if you are a bit too... If you're a bit too careless with pressing the A button a bunch of times, you may end up throwing yourself off a cliff and into the great beyond, which, you know, isn't good for your life or anything else. Thankfully, this game does have regenerating health, which means that no matter how many blades I take to the face, I'll be fine. Oh. Okay, so another viewpoint down, and we're going to jump. And go find another guy. Now, hopefully, in the future, we will be able to get through these things faster. I, <laughs> I really should have gone off after a challenge. I had absolutely no idea what was or had never played before. But thankfully, eavesdrops are basically. Do you not want to actually work for your information? Well, okay. Here you go. Have a cutscene. No, not you. You have to walk onto the right people. You hear about Elaine? The archer who guards the eastern wing? Poor bastard's brother caught an arrow in the throat. Doubt he'll last the night. How can he continue to work, knowing what's to come? He visits his brother often, so I cover for him when I can. You aren't there now? No. I family business of my own to attend to. Then he'd best hope the doctor doesn't learn of his desertion. He won't. Long as you stay silent. Don't worry. Your secret safe with me. And that's it. We have now... I think we can now actually go back and assassinate the guy, which we are going to do. Or, ah, uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to assassinate him. We are going to assassinate him and make this a slightly long episode to make up for my complete and total incompetence at the beginning of this episode. Hopefully, it will go better than the other attempts to not be completely incompetent. Which is, unfortunately, something that I am not entirely convinced will happen. My game-playing ability appears to have gone from, you know, painfully average to... to run up the walls. To... to fall... oh my god. That, see, that, that's perfect. That is the perfect example of why everything is bad forever. Now... Trying to get around the city when you don't know where exactly you're going is always fun. Now, a lot of people I know just kind of follow the marker, but look at this game world. It's very fun to traverse. I just like running around and jumping on things. That's part of Assassin's Creed Creed's fun is the rooftop running. Later games kind of <laughs> Later games kind of make it harder to run on the rooftops because, you know, an archer can't you can deal with pretty easily, but once there are muskets involved, you know, it gets a little harder. Now let's go see what he has to say about the guy we're supposed to kill, and hopefully won't screw up killing horribly, horribly. Altair, how fares your search for Garnier? I know when and how to strike. Share your knowledge with me then. He lives and works within the Order's hospital, northwest of here. Rumors speak of atrocities committed within its walls. It seems the good doctor enjoys experimenting on innocent citizens. Most of them kidnapped and brought here from Jerusalem. Clever. 
By stealing his subjects from another city, he avoids arousing too much suspicion here. But back to the matter at hand. What is your plan? Gagne keeps mainly to his quarters inside the hospital, though he leaves occasionally to inspect his patients. It's when he makes his rounds that I will strike. It's clear you've given this some thought. I give you leave to go. Okay, so now we're going to take the feather, which... Remove this stain from Akka, Altair. Perhaps it will help cleanse your own. Rest here until you're ready to begin your mission. Okay. So now that we're going to, you know, remove our stain by stabbing someone and then rubbing a feather in their blood, which is kind of strange, and I don't believe that's ever anything that comes back. But, you know. Now, I talked the other episode about the monologues you have, and those are weird, aren't they? It's like you stab someone and then you have time to have a heart-to-heart -heart with them while no one else does anything, and it's kind of in this metaphysical reality place, and... And I have no idea how the series ever tries to explain it. In fact, it, get, it gets progressively weirder as the game series goes on. Anyways, we are going to go assassinate this guy so hard, and not if we die running there. Now, later cities are a bit better about giving you more control of where you're going and more ways to actually get across the land without, you know, falling and nearly killing yourself repeatedly. Oh, that that looked cool. That looked like I was knowing what I was doing. And that didn't. Well, back to the par for the course. Anyways, we could save this citizen, but I don't want to arouse suspicion when I'm going to, you know, murder somebody. What? Oh, he's sick. Okay. Well, I won't... <clears throat> you guys. You guys being sick is not a good reason to murder me. Now, I don't think you can actually get in the front door. Let's see. Nope. No can do. So what we have to do instead is find an alternate entrance, which can be found right around here. Or you could murder them. I mean, it's really up to you. I prefer to pretend I have at least a little bit of subtlety capable inside of me. I mean, we both know that's not true, but I that is what I like to think. Alright, so you can climb up the church, and as you can see, there's a broken window. Oh my god, I'm glad that I went to the right place. Um, let's, let's try that again. Let's just... Okay, maybe I have to climb that? Come on. Oh my god, Altair, I hate you so much. I hate you with all of my hate. How are we going to get in here? You know what? Let's go... You know what? Fine, fine. We'll stop trying to be cool and going in the broken window, and we'll just take a different ladder to the top of the building instead. You see what you've made me do, game? I didn't want to climb that. Okay. <laughs> not allowed to be here. Oh. Leave. Uh, no. I will not. As you can see, you can pretty much just do whatever you want, if as long as you are fast enough about killing people. Now, I think that this will drop us inside, but first, there we go, he's dead, and and now we have to kill these guys. We have to vanish to actually go into the target area, which does mean just killing these two guys. So, he's dead, and in a couple of seconds, as soon as he stops blocking, he's dead. Okay. And now, I think there was a Bay of Hail over here. I was saying something about being subtle earlier, and I now regret it. <laughs> okay. And the moment... You actually can't leave a bush until the game decides that you're in the clear. Which is kind of weird, but you know. Okay. So it's now recording our synchronization, and I'm doing a great job so far. Enough, my child. I asked you to retrieve the patient, not to kill him. There, there. Everything will be all right. No! Give me no. your hand. Don't touch me! Not again! Cast out this fear, else I cannot help you. Help me? Like you helped the others? 
You took their souls! I saw. I saw! But not mine. No! You'll not have mine! Ah! Take hold of yourself! Do you think this gives me pleasure? Do you think I want to hurt you? But you leave me no choice. Every kind word matched by the back of his hand. All lies and deception. He won't be content until all bow before him. You should not have done that. Return him to his quarters. I'll be along once I've tended to the You other. can't keep me here. I'll escape again. No, you won't. Break his legs, both of them. Well then, you can kind of see why this guy needs to be assassinated. No, that's my door. I want to go in there. Oh, man. Okay, well, you actually can get in through this side door instead, and that is exactly what we're going to do. Now, as you can see, we only have a yellow marker. Oh, never mind. Now we have a red marker. And the goal here will, of course, be to sneak up behind the guy and kill him with the hidden blade. Now, you actually can kill people in open combat, but it's not advised. And he's saying something probably interesting. You are a monster. I have been called for. And that is how you assassinate him. Let go your burden. Ah, now, yes. The endless dream calls to me. But before I close my eyes, I must know what will become of my children. You mean the people made to suffer your cruel experiments? They'll be free now to return to their homes. Homes? What homes? The sewers? The portals? The prisons that we dragged them from? You took these people against their will. Yes. What little will there was for them to have. Are you really so naive? Do you appease a kind child simply because he wails? But I want to play with fire, father. What would you say? As you wish. Ah. But then you'd answer for his burn. These are not children, but men and women full grown. In body, perhaps, but not in mind. Which is the very damage I sought to repair. I admit, without the piece of Eden, which you stole from us, my progress was slowed, but there are herbs, mixtures, and extracts. My guards are proof of this. They were madmen before I found and freed them from the prisons of their own minds. <sighs> and with my death, madmen they will be again. You truly believe you were helping them? It's not what I believe. It's what I know. And he's dead, just like we planned. And now we have to escape, just like I hopefully planned out. Oh, I'm climbing up. Oh, man. <laughs> so as you can see, he actually believed he was doing the right thing, which is a little absurd, considering that he ordered, you know, someone's legs to be broken. But he does have a point. Now, if you get knocked over, it is generally enough time for guards to surround you. But if you immediately start running again, you can usually escape. Now we need to get back to the Assassin's Bureau, and we need to hopefully at some point lose the guards behind us. Um, doing that. Oh my god. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes where you want to run in the game, the game does not allow you to run. So, we are going to try and take this escape route over this way. Remember, you don't want to try and fight the guards when they are chasing you this hard, because you will not be able to get away. However, they don't chase you too hard, and because of your ability to climb rooftops so quickly, it is a fairly easy thing to get away. Now, I actually am being spotted by someone, which... Oh wait, no I'm not. Oh wait, yes I am. Oh wait, no I'm not. Okay. Well, no, I'm not saving a citizen. I am trying to s escape from, you know, the entire city guard. That is not what I want to do right now. Oh man, seriously? I was right next to the Assassin's Spear. Oh, it's just this guy. Okay, hang on. 
Um, fine, fine, we'll have this fight. Okay, I really don't want him to fall because if he falls like he just did, then instead of getting immediately out, we have to go hide again because he's not dead because he only fell one floor. It might be inconsiderate of him when you consider it. And he's alive and over there, but we don't care because we have made it to the Assassin's Bureau. Hooray! What was one... It was a bit of a trek. It, this has been an interesting assassination. What news, Altair? Gagne is dead. Then you should return to Masayak with news of your victory. There is something else. Speak it then, or would you have me read your mind? What do you think he wanted from these people? That he would keep them an experiment on them as he did? Yours is not to ask, but act, Altair. It doesn't matter what he did or why. Only that he's dead. But Gagne seemed to believe he was helping these people. Is that what you saw? No. What I saw was not a place of healing, but of pain. Then why are we having this conversation? I... I don't know. Forget I spoke of it. I already have. And with that, we are done with the assassination in Akka. Oh, wow, this ended up being much too long of an episode. I feel like I did everything wrong. So, we actually do have to return to... Oh, fast travel toward memory to Masayaf? Um, please just go to this town and not to Al Mualim. I would be mighty appreciative. I... Oh, God. If I get... If I made the wrong choice, I'm sorry forever. Let's see. It takes us... Oh, God. Have you news for me, Altair? Gagne Denaplus is dead. Excellent. We could not have hoped for a more agreeable outcome. And yet... What is it? The doctor insisted his work was noble, and looking back, those who were supposedly his captives seemed grateful to the man. Not all of them, but enough to make me wonder. How did he manage to turn enemy into friend? Leaders will always find ways to make others obey them, and that is what makes them leaders. When words fail, they turn to coin. When that won't do, they resort to baser things. Bribes, threats, and other types of trickery. There are plants, Altair. Herbs from distant lands that can cause a man to take leave of his senses. So great are the pleasures it brings, men may even become enslaved by it. You think these men were drugged then? Poisoned? Yes, if it truly was as you describe it. Herbs. This seems a strange method of control. Our enemies have accused me of the same. The promise of paradise. They think it is a garden, overflowing with women and pleasure. But I drug you as Garnier did his men, and tempt you with his rewards. They do not know the truth of it. Which is how it must be. But if they knew the truth of it, that all we seek is peace, then they would not fear us, and we would have no hold over them. Go. It is time you continued with your work. Another rank is restored to you, as is a piece of your equipment. We'll speak again when the next has fallen. Okay, so we got another piece of equipment, and this is where we were going to leave off immediately. This episode ended up running way too long. I did not think that assassination would take so long. But I hope you enjoyed it, and in the next one, we will be going to Jerusalem. So I hope to see you then, where it will not be this long. <laughs> see you then.